Oh, we're talking about Ruby Frankie, the the footage that came out. You guys don't know who Ruby Frankie is. She's a mom, right? Uh, I think she, the channel was A Passengers, um, and she would, uh, you know, abuse her kids on on social media. And a lot of people are like, "Yo, what the hell's going on? Why aren't you feeding your kids?" Last year, she uh, she got arrested because her kid was literally tied up in her best friend's house, and he escaped the house and went to a neighbor's house and asked for help. But now the, that footage, um, at least them going, the police going to the, the best friend's house came out. And it's just crazier because now there's pictures of the little boy where he was tied up. And dude, no te miento, you could, his flesh was falling off, dude, from his, uh, the ones I saw, his ankles. I can't even show you guys here because that's how bad it is. It's because the duct tape that was around RF's ankles and wrists before it was removed. Ruby Frankie's son had basically been hogtied on the floor at Jody Hildebrand's home. They had used handcuffs to do that, and this is a picture of the handcuffs being collected from Jody's home. They found several different types of rope. This is some that was found in a drawer at the home, and this is some more rope that was found. Now you'll notice beside it is a container of reddish looking fluid. It had been determined that this was the mixture, the homeopathic mixture that Jody and Ruby had been smearing on their open wounds. This is actually cayenne pepper and honey. This is a picture. What the fuck? Cayenne pepper and open wounds. Cayenne pepper and honey to be specific. Dude, like like we mentioned last week, some people don't deserve to be parents. I don't know. Uh, this lady Ruby Frank and her partner were crazy, were nuts, and it's it, it's it's even worse because they were giving mom advice, literally mom advice online on social media, Facebook, on Facebook, telling moms how to parent, giving them tips. Like, dude, se pasan. What the hell? picture of Ruby Frankie's son's wrists the day that he had gone to the neighbor's home looking for help. The shirt he is wearing went down over his wrist so they didn't see this until they pulled the sleeves up. Now what you're looking at right now is saran wrap wrapped around his wrists and then duct tape over it. And the paramedics said that the saran wrap was trying to protect his wounds before they put the duct tape over it and then they would put the ropes or the handcuffs on top of the duct tape. And this is what his poor little ankles look like. Now this allegedly is not blood. It's the cayenne pepper and honey mix that they had smeared all over his cuts along his ankles. Then they put the saran wrap on top as well as the duct tape. Now you can see how dirty his feet actually were. He was wearing little socks when he arrived at this home. So this is just from him not being clean or bathed in however many days. After Russell escaped from Jody Hildebrand's home and went to the neighbor's house, he alerted police that his sister was still in Jody Hildebrand's home. When police arrived at the home, they found Ruby Frankie's daughter in an empty wow. closet. She was absolutely traumatized and refused to leave the room, so police and paramedics gave her the time she needed. It took them four hours to convince her that it was safe to leave this closet. I honestly don't know how much longer these two children could have survived in the conditions they had been living dude. in if this young boy did not have the courage enough to escape Jody Hildebrand's house and go to the neighbors and ask for help. <sighs> I don't know why people are fucking this bad, dude. It just hurts my heart for the kids. Uh, have you read her journal entry? No, I haven't. I, no, I didn't even know she had a journal. What would she say in those things? Uh, hold on. I want to show you guys the, like the... The room they kept him on. It literally looks like it's like like a gun safe, dude. Okay, so this is um, this is a room. There's no audio, but look at look at how, look at the door, bro. You had to put a coat in to get in. Um, uh, people in the comments were saying, "Yo, her house looks like a prison, with so many damn lights, all white walls." <laughs> But dude, Ugh. that's uh, that's really sad. It doesn't even look. Oh wait, is that a bed, bro? That is a bed. What the hell? Look how look how it looks like a prison. If you guys are on Twitch or on YouTube, tell me that does not look like a prison, bro. At first, when I saw this video, I was like, oh, shit. Are, like, what are they showing? Like, are they at the prison where uh, Ruby and, uh, or jail with Ruby and the other girl? What's the other girl, lady's name? I don't know. It's a pendeja. But 
Yeah, I was like, dude, are they showing us something? But it's literally her house. The fact that it was a literal safe, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's crazy. Oh, her name was Jody. Yeah, it's Jody, Jody, Jody. Ugh, just very disturbing. I literally hug my kids tighter now. They said, <sighs> "Hug your kids, man." Out the front door that way. Just hang on one second right here in the lobby, okay? Okay. What criminal charges for? So you're under arrest. It's gonna be two counts: second degree felony of child abuse and neglect. Okay. Do you understand that or no? Are you okay? I'm wondering if there's like a medical clearance that needs to, like, do, do you need medical attention before you go to the jail? No. Okay. All right, well, we'll have you, as soon as she gets down here, we'll bring her out. Okay. okay. Have you ever been arrested before? Bro, she's silent. She don't know what the hell to say. Literally, she's she screwed. She got up to sixty years. Oh shit! I just concerned about you. I know you don't believe that. Wait, wait, wait! Someone else said no. They went in on zero to fifteen, so they could get out as early as three years. I hope they don't let her out, bro. I hope they don't. Have an opportunity, bro. Once you see the this kids. Ankles? Yeah, you're gonna be like, no, she needs life in there, bro. To your husband, and kind of worried about your circumstances, and obviously your children as well. Yeah, she's not speaking at all, dude. She's not. I've been so years. I bet it's so frustrating being that cop, like hella frustrating because you're talking to her, but. She's being stupid. She don't want to talk. Even the cop wanted to punch. Dude, I, I want to punch her, man. Um, what's her name again? Ruby Frankie. Uh, I don't know where you could find the pictures, honestly. Let me let me double check on Google again. But bro, there it's freaking sad. I don't know where I saw. Them. Oh, I know who put them. I know who. Put them. I just I just think just Google it. Uh, Ruby Frankie kids wounds. I know it should. You just kind of have to do your research. It's all over TikTok. Yeah. I know there's a lot of TikTok videos. I, I'm just I just don't want to show the the wounds though. It's it's sad. Our system's so fucked up that I wouldn't uh, do. Yes, I, I was speaking on this uh, when I, I used to talk about them like a year ago. Like it took them this long for for them to make an arrest. It took a brave kid to climb out the window, go to the neighbor's house for them to arrest the mom. That that's crazy.